And now let's proceed to addition of integers. So we have two basic rules. Number one, if the integers have the same sign, just add the absolute values of the integers and copy the common sign. So let's say number one, take note, they have the same sign. Let's say we have one plus three. We know that this is positive one and this is positive three. So adding that is equal to four. Number two, negative three plus negative 11. The signs are negative and negative. So they have the same sign. In our rule, just add the number. So 3 plus 11, that is 14. Then copy their common sign. The common sign is negative. So the sign is negative, 14. Number 3, let's say negative 5 plus negative 3 plus negative 2. Negative, negative, negative. So they are all in the same sign. So just add the numbers. 5 plus 3, that is 8. Plus 2, that is 10. So after adding the numbers, copy their sign. Their common sign is negative. So don't forget our sign, negative. Easy, right? Number four, five plus six plus eight. Five plus six plus eight. They are all positive. So just add the numbers. Five plus eight, five plus six, 11 plus eight, 19. Okay. What is the sign? Positive. So, we can write it as positive 19 or since this is positive, we can remove the positive sign that is understood as positive number. Next, what if we have different sign? Our rule is, if the integer have different signs, subtract the integers and copy the sign of the integer with greater absolute volume. Now let us try. Let's say negative 3 plus positive 4. So negative and positive. They have different sign. Therefore, subtract the number. 4 or 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4. Or 4 minus 3. That is 1. 4 minus 3, that is 1. Now, Copy the sign of the bigger or greater absolute volume. If we get the absolute value of negative 3, that is 3, which is greater, 4 or 3. So 4 is greater, so this is positive 1, or simply 1. Next, number 2. Negative 9 plus 5. Okay. One negative and the other one is positive. They are they have different sign. So subtract nine minus five. Nine minus five, that is four. Now what is the sign? The absolute value of negative nine is nine. Or nine or five, which is greater. Nine is greater, so the sign of 9 is negative, so we write negative 4. Understood? How about number 3? 12 plus negative 15. One positive and one negative. So, 15 minus 12, subtract them. That is 3. What is the sign? In here, 15 is greater. So this is negative 3. And number 4, 
What if you have negative 101 plus positive 100? So 101 minus 100, that is 1. Get the absolute value, so 101 is greater. So negative 1. So these are our rules in adding integer. So we have two basic rules. If they have the same sign, add the number and copy their common sign. And for the unlike sign, subtract the number and copy the sign of the greater absolute value of the integer.